imagine if in your imagine if in your home a random stranger barges in and starts living in your bedroom, starts taking the space and starts forcefully displacing your children, your family, everyone from your very own home. That is what's happening in today. And we see that the Scarborough Show conflict isn't just merely something that is a territorial dispute between countries, but a question of integrity, of which national identity should we put more importance on? Should we, the Philippines, a third world country, stand up against the big China, the big Chinese identity who own a lot and hold a lot of influence in the world? Personally, I think that the question of the arguments of the Philippines towards the conflict is something that is close to my heart. As a Filipino people, this issue is not only a territorial dispute, but something that rings true or something that is a clash between the identities of, of sovereign states. This is a question of whether a small state like the Philippines would have the gall, the courage, and the strength to stand up and own something that is inherently his. Because as with what the decision of the arbitration court is, we have the right to own it. This is legally ours, and this is our home. Hence, the continuous and the pervasive efforts of China to set up bases, to live there, to construct and surround it with military boats, and forcefully displace our fishermen who rely on the Scarborough Shoal for their livelihood to not be able to fish. This is what's happening in the conflict right now. And I wholeheartedly agree that the Philippines owns this, that this is part of our national identity. This, the Scarborough Show, isn't just a piece of random land. It is an extension of the Filipino identity, an identity that we have all the right to fight for, no matter if it's America, no matter if it's China, no matter if it's a whole galactic empire against us. Because this isn't just a piece of land that you step on. This isn't just some random place or random body of water that people go into fish to. For our Filipino people, this is part of their identity. For the fishermen living and using that land as a source of income, that is their livelihood. That's where they get the money to feed their children, to get their families out of poverty, and to make sure that in the end of the day, they still live on. Because we see, ladies and gentlemen, that what's happening right now is problematic. There is a continuous effort from China to bully us, to assert their dominion over our territory. And I personally think that the Philippines has all the right and the prerogative to claim it. It has the responsibility, especially the Filipino government, has the responsibility to make sure that the Filipino people are the ones who own this. That our identity as a nation isn't looked upon by the international community as something that can easily be dismissed, as something that can be shoved in elbow because they think that we're a weak country that don't hold any importance to our national identity. But let's see reality. And I agree with the current stance of the administ the administration. We have to realize that in reality we have to realize that there is a balance that we have to meet in international politics. That the Duterte administration stands towards exploiting this or ensuring that we are able to manipulate every single resource there and make sure that the return of benefit for every fisherman that uses that place is maximized. I agree that the Filipino identity is something that is important. That we should fight for this, that this is something that should not easily be displaced by other bigger nations. But I also think, and I personally think, that the argument for the mutual benefit, the mutual exploration, and the partnership as equals as equals as both countries that are sovereign is something that we need. This isn't just an issue now as prime, because we have fishermen who rely on this. We have people who need the resources in the Scarborough Show. This is a question of whether our national identity 